As Prince George continues to grow and develop, anticipation is building around the possibility of his first solo tour. While official announcements are yet to be made, speculation is rife about when and where this momentous event might take place. Prince William and Princess Catherine's eldest child will one day be crowned king and, as such, his parents have the difficult job of balancing the weight of his royal responsibilities with providing a normal and happy childhood for their son. His father, Prince William, is perfectly placed to help him navigate this transition, he has grown up under the same spotlight, and has managed to strike a happy medium between his personal and public life. Traditionally, royal children embark on their first solo tours once they reach a certain age and level of maturity. While there are no set rules on the age a young prince or princess will undertake this task, he is likely to take a leaf out of his father's book. Prince George, as the eldest child of the Prince and Princess of Wales is being groomed for his future role within the monarchy. As he approaches his teenage years, it is conceivable that he might undertake his inaugural personal tour in the not-too-distant future. The timing of Prince George's first solo tour could coincide with key milestones in his life, such as turning 13 or reaching the official age of majority, which varies by country. His parents, Prince William and Princess Catherine, will undoubtedly take great care in selecting a suitable time that aligns with his educational commitments and overall readiness for such a momentous undertaking. It is likely that his first appearance will be similar to those of Prince William and Prince Harry who both debuted at the age of 23. If he follows in his father's example, Prince George could carry out his first engagement in his early 20s. As for the destination of Prince George's debut solo tour, the choice will likely be steeped in historical significance and carry a strong connection to the British Commonwealth. The Commonwealth is an integral part of the British monarchy, and royal tours to Commonwealth nations are viewed as essential in fostering diplomatic ties and cultural exchanges. A probable destination for Prince George's solo tour might be a Commonwealth country with a long-standing historical connection to the United Kingdom, such as Canada, Australia, or New Zealand, but a visit to the States would also be seen as vital owing to the warm relationship between the UK and US. These nations have warmly welcomed other members of the royal family on previous occasions, and their rich cultural diversity and shared heritage make them prime candidates for such a momentous event. The visit could encompass a range of engagements, from meeting with dignitaries and community leaders to participating in charitable activities and cultural showcases. The tour would not only be a moment of pride for the royal family but also an opportunity for the young prince to engage with people from various backgrounds and gain valuable experiences that will shape his future role as a representative of the crown. It is important to note that any plans for Prince George's solo tour will be carefully considered, keeping in mind his age, well-being, and educational commitments. The Prince and Princess of Wales, along with the rest of the royal family, will undoubtedly provide unwavering support and guidance as he takes on this new chapter in his life. As the world eagerly awaits this momentous occasion, it is clear that Prince George's first solo tour will be a landmark event in the history of the British monarchy, symbolising a new generation taking its place on the international stage. Until official announcements are made, royal enthusiasts will continue to watch with excitement and admiration as the young prince continues to grow and flourish, guided by the timeless values and traditions of the royal family. Prince William's initial solo tour to New Zealand in 2005 was marked by a significant event, where he not only joined the British and Irish Lions rugby team but also represented the Queen at events commemorating the end of the Second World War. It wasn't until 2011 that Prince William's first official visit to the United States took place. Accompanied by Kate, the couple spent time in California after a successful nine-day trip to Canada. This visit to California is a probable destination for Prince George in his early days as a senior member of the royal family.